What's up guys, Mr. Stark again. I wanna show you how to use your meter and test for ohms. So right now, if I put my meter in this setting, ohms, I'm actually testing for continuity really between the end of one wire and the end of another for this particular example that we're gonna be doing. And we're also gonna be using this meter to test for resistance. So if I took out my two leads like I did before, and if I'm in the ohm setting, as you can see, we're in ohms. And if I touch these two leads together, my meter beeps. And what that's telling me is there is a connection between this lead and this lead. This is particularly important for electricians because we need to test to see maybe if we didn't label a wire, what that wire is. So if you take a look at my example that I got here, what I'm gonna show you is pretend for a second that we've got wires that come out of, a pan, out of a conduit and you forgot to label them. So all of these wires are the same. They have no identifying marks on them, no labels, no nothing. But what they do have is they have a, ground, a uh, equipment ground conductor that's ran inside the raceway. And equipment ground conductors can be found in Article 250.118 in your National Electrical Code book at least the acceptable ones, a ground wire being one of them, and also EMT can also be an acceptable equipment grounding conductor. So what you're gonna see in this example is, I'm gonna take one of these wires randomly, one of these reds, and I'm going to splice it onto this green wire, and I'm just gonna, maybe I put them together just like this. So now they're together, they're touching, just like my meter was before. Then I'm gonna come over to the other area, and maybe the other area is this other panel or something. Maybe they're coming into a panel here. And if you can look down below here, I've got these spread out already. Sorry about the squeak. And you'll see I have a ground and all the other wires that are just kind of here with no identifying marks on them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my meter. Once again, I am in the ohm setting and I'm gonna to touch each one of these wires to the ground wire, and we're gonna wait until we hear that same beep. So here's me with the ground wire, which I'm just gonna isolate, and I'm gonna hold my lead to that one ground wire, and I'm gonna to touch each of these until I hear my meter beep. So we know it's not that one. We know it's not that one. Let me get a little closer to this one. It's not that one, it's not that one. I'm going to shift over here so that you can kind of see. It's not that one. It's probably the last one. It's not that one. There it is. So right now I'm going to take these two and put them in front of the camera for you again. And right now I'm actually just going through my meter. There's no resistance. The meter is picking it up. The only resistance is what the wire is made of. And it's sending a signal from one lead to the other and letting me know I have a connection. Now I know I've, I've identified that red wire that in the other picture was actually tied into this ground wire. So that's one easy way of being able to ohm out a circuit, as, as we call it in the field, or ring them out, uh, depending on the term. And once you identify that wire, you would then put a number on it or whatever identifying mark that would help you distinguish one wire from the other, because obviously we need to label our wires. So hopefully this video helped at least teaching you how to ohm out a circuit and find a wire that isn't labeled in the pipe. I could do the same thing by connecting this wire, which was, I believe, this wire, and I could touch the back of this metal back box wherever the ground wire was terminated to, if it were terminated into an equipment ground or a back box. So hopefully that helps, and I'll see you at the next video.